And finally, in our Boolean logic section, we have this bitmask example.c. In the code, we have a, which is set to some hex value, b, which is set to some hex value, and then an if statement where it takes and it does a bitwise and on a and b, and then based on whether or not that's zero or non-zero, it's going to return total or tot. So we can tell just by looking at the values that are operated on that it's definitely going to return non-zero. But the interesting thing about this example is even though this is a bitwise end here, we don't see a bitwise end in the assembly. Instead, what we see is a test instruction. So what is the test instruction? So the test instruction, according to the manual, computes a bitwise AND of the first operand and second operand and sets the flags accordingly. So test is similar to compare in that compare was behind the scenes actually a subtract instruction that throws away the result after sets the, setting the flags. Test is an AND instruction that throws away the result after setting the flags. So we can understand why this might be generated here because although the C says to do a bitwise AND, it's not actually storing that bitwise AND anywhere. So it doesn't need any, so it doesn't want to overwrite any particular value with the result of that AND. So therefore, you should now be able to understand why there's a test instruction here and go and step through the assembly in order to confirm that the jump is taken the way you expect and that you understand all of the other assembly in this example.